Hello, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. I am Koja Kuna and I'm here to share whatever I learn in my sketchbook with you for your sketchbook habit and I hope it inspires. And my book, Life is Better When You Draw It, is now available for you to purchase online. It's in English and um, I self-published it. It's an illustrated book for people who love drawing and who need inspiration, like you. It's about how drawing can make you happy and also mindful. And in the book I share ways to embrace the sketchbook habit. I share tips and there are a lot of drawings from my sketchbooks in it. Danny Gregory wrote the foreword for me and this is what urban sketcher Ian Fennelly says about my book. In this beautifully illustrated book, Kosha describes her personal creative journey alongside practical tips and advice. She gives inspiring insights into creativity and the importance of a daily sketching habit, which becomes part of your everyday life. I sketch all the time, but this book reaffirms for me the life-enhancing benefits of getting your pens out whenever you can. Link to buy a copy is below the video. I'm taking the month of August off, but I've selected a few great videos for you that I will republish during the month of August. Here's the first, and I'll keep flexing my drawing muscles while I am away from YouTube, and I hope you will too. You might have been away on vacation and even just getting away for a few days makes you feel like getting out of everything. And then it can be hard to start again on the projects that you were working on or to start again at all. Or maybe you've had a whole gap of non-creativity for quite a while, maybe a few weeks, a few months or even longer. And then you might think, how do I ever get back to it? It's hard, the threshold to take that little step to pick up that pen and paper can be really, really high. Maybe your inner critic is telling you like, well, maybe you can't do it anymore. Do you even know how to draw? And what if that first drawing turns out really bad? Well, let's get over that together. I've been away uh, on a little vacation, enjoyed really a great time in Dutch nature. And um, before I went away, I started my project on shoes. It's this accordion sketchbook, which is awesome and which has to be filled completely. I have a lot of shoes still to draw, I must admit. I want to get back to it, you know? I want to get into a sort of a regular habit to uh, use this book, which of course I will share f completely once I filled it, but that will take a while. So today I want to get back into my projects and I hope you have something too that uh, you can get back in and maybe we can do it together. Getting back into the groove can be quite hard because it seems like such a huge step to take from not doing it and just picking up that pen again and starting again, beginning again. But I do know that you have muscle memory. If you like drawing, if you have been drawing, you know how to do it. So even if your inner critic is like, well, you haven't done this for a while, so maybe just, you know, procrastinate on it or not do it at all because what you might make might be really bad you know better, you have muscle memory. In the Netherlands, we all, at some point in our lives, we learn to ride a bike. Once you know how to do it, you will never unlearn. Maybe if you haven't been biking for a few years, you get up on the bike. At first, it might feel a little bit wobbly, but then you get back into the familiar feeling of the move on the bicycle. I think it's the same with swimming. Once you know how to swim, you can't really unlearn it. And just recently I got back into doing exercise, like lifting weights, trying to get stronger again. And I was a bit afraid that I had to start all the way from scratch again. But my trainer gave me a few exercises and my body knew exactly what to do. I remembered exactly how to do all those exercises. Even though my body couldn't lift the weight that I could lift like over a year ago, 
because I hadn't been trying it and I haven't been maintaining the exercise for over a year. But my body did know what to do. There was muscle memory. And that's what this is about. Get back to it and you will recognize the things that you need to do. Maybe you haven't used a tool for a whole long time. And you're like, mm, how did that work again? Maybe, you know, watercolors, do you, how much water do you add? How much pigment do you use? But once you step back into it, dip your brush into the water and into the paint and onto the paper, you will know. Your head knows it. You have muscle memory. So let's use the muscle memory and also remind yourself whenever you are in a rut or whenever you haven't drawn for a while, remember you can still do it. You can do it any time. Just make a little bit of time and do it. And then you can get back into the project. And once you've done one drawing for that project, for that collection or the series that you're working on, you know that you can do another one. Just make time for it. That's really the biggest thing. Time. Make time. Dedicate time. And you deserve to do it because it's so great to draw. You feel so happy when you draw. So let's keep on doing it. Thank you for listening to me just sharing my thoughts while I was drawing my shoes. I hope you get back to your project. I hope you get back to your drawing practice. And here at Draw Tip Tuesday, that's really what I want to encourage you to do. Get into that practice. Do what you love. Draw, draw, draw. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to get a copy of my book. Link below the video. Now go and draw!